All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve a problem. X minus four to the power of four is equal to X to the power of four. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by rewriting this as X minus four squared to the power of two is equal to X to the power of two to the power of two. And now I'm gonna subtract X to the power of two to the power of two on both sides. So these two cancel out. And I get x minus four squared to the power of two minus x squared to the power of two is equal to zero. Now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So now I get x minus four squared plus x squared times x minus four squared minus x squared is equal to zero. So x minus four squared is equal to x squared minus eight x plus 16. So I have this plus x squared is equal to zero. This is one equation. And I have x squared minus eight x plus 16 minus x squared is equal to zero. So for my left-hand side, I get two x squared minus eight x plus 16 is equal to zero. And if I divide both sides by two, I get x squared minus four x plus eight is equal to zero. For my right-hand side, these two cancel out, and I get negative 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. So I'm going to first solve for my right-hand side. So I'm going to add 8x on both sides, so I get 8x is equal to 16. Now if I divide both sides by 8, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 2. Now for my left-hand side, I'm gonna use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac, all over two a. So I get x is equal to negative negative four plus or minus the square root of negative four squared, which is 16 minus four times one times eight, all over two times one. This is equal to four plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 32 over two, which is equal to four plus or minus the square root of negative 16 over two, which is equal to four plus or minus the square root of 16 i over two, which is equal to four plus or minus four i over two, which is equal to two plus or minus two i. So the, these are my three solutions. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation two to the power of x plus a to the power of x is equal to 10. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by rewriting eight as two to the power of three. So I get two to the power of three to the power of x is equal to 10. Now from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So I get two to the power of x plus two to the power of x to the power of three is equal to 10 because I switched the places of three and x. Now from here, I'm going to let two to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now I get y plus y to the power of three is equal to 10. And if I subtract 10 on both sides, I get y to the power of three plus y minus 10 is equal to zero. Now, what I need to do is first find one solution of y, and then once I have that solution, I can find the remaining solutions. So to do that and find that first solution, I'm just gonna test values of y. So we're gonna start with y equals one. So when y equals one, I have one to the power of three plus one minus 10 is equal to zero. Well, one to the power of three is one, one plus one is two, two minus 10 is negative eight, which does not equal zero. So this does not work. Now I'm gonna try y equals two. So when y equals two, I get two to the power of three plus two minus 10 is equal to zero. Now two to the power of three is eight. So I have eight plus two minus 10 
a plus 2 is 10, 10 minus 10 is 0. So this works, meaning y equals 2 is a solution. So what I'm going to do is divide y to the power of 3 plus y minus 10 by y minus 2. Because y minus 2 equals 0, well, y equals 2 is a solution. So to do this, I'm going to use synthetic division. So I'm going to look at the coefficients of my numerator. And I have 1, which is the coefficient of y to the power of 3. 0, which is the coefficient of y squared. Remember, we're going order. 1, again, which is the coefficient of y. And negative 10. And just to let you guys know, the 0 is there because this is supposed to be y squared because we're going in order. But because there is no y squared, we put a 0 in front of it. And this is all with 2. And if you guys are still confused by this, you should look up a video on synthetic division. So I'm going to first start by moving down my 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 0 plus 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 1 plus 4 is 5. And 2 times 5 is 10. Negative 10 plus 10 is 0. So I have a remainder of 0. And I'm going to use these as my coefficients. So I get y squared plus 2y plus 5 meaning y squared plus 2y plus 5 times y minus 2 is equal to 0. So this is my equation, and I'm going to divide this into two equations. y squared plus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0, and y minus 2 is equal to 0. So now for y minus 2 equals 0, I'm going to add 2 on both sides, so I get y is equal to 2. And for y squared plus 2y plus 5 equals 0, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So I get y equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times 1 times 5, all over 2 times 1. And this turns to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 20 over 2, which is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 16 over 2. And because we have the square root of a negative number, we cannot use the solution of y, meaning we can only use y equals 2 as a solution. And remember, we're solving for x, not y. And we let 2 to the power of x equal to y. So I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 2. And the only solution to this would be x equals 1, because 2 to the power of 1 is equal to itself. So x equals 1 is my solution to this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this video to your friends or family. Thank you.